Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to talk about two things, actually. Uh, shout out to both Hard to Find Toys and Mark II Designs or Mark II Toys, uh, depending on which screen name you'll be checking them out from. But I did not know they were going to send me the same thing, so I'm going to do a two in one. Um, shout out to both of them who reached out to me and wanted me to talk about their weapon sets because I have a ton of weapon sets to talk about. And honestly, it is smart on people to tell me these things because I, I get stuff all the time and I don't know exactly what I'm getting into. Everyone knows I don't know jack squat about guns, but uh, I've been walked through some of the stuff. I may forget it. I may not know it. But again, I'm here to talk about the weapon sets to make them look cool. I'm going to do my best. So please, for the love of baby Jesus, I already know you're about to roast me in these comment sections about not knowing guns. But I've learned some of the proper terms. I'm trying to learn some of them. It is not easy because my brain has so many other things in there. But today we're going to talk about the Valiverse Duster. So we're going to talk about Duster first and we're going to talk about these weapon sets. So like the other Valiverse stuff, I am super excited about these. Like these make me very, very happy because I've been having a good time complimenting these these with my G.I. Joes, putting them as goons, having their own universe. Everyone knows I love that kind of stuff. And Duster is no different. Now, the the jacket set that he comes with actually comes with the new green one from also in set, I think it's wave 2B. So you'll also get this, but you have the, the Action Force logo on this one. But also, like uh, Desert Rat, he has the pants-like combination versus actually getting the uh, the boot swivel. So that's one thing you'll notice that is different. So as far as our look goes, he looks like a like combat journalist in my opinion, but I also like it because it, it still gives off really cool military vibes, but also like semi-civilian. I like it, I really do. Now, as far as our articulation goes, like most Valiver stuff, our head can go up, it can go down. We get a little bit of wiggle wiggle. Um, we get the left and right. We have our vest here, which in this case does not hinder any articulation. As you can see, we have a really tight and nice butterfly joint, right? We can go forwards and backwards. We can lift our arms up. And I think these guys have actually a slightly different arm design because these guys get a little bit higher in terms of our arm design. As you can see here, we do have a bicep swivel. And I do love that seamless look of it because there are no uh, pegs. So it's a uh, <clears throat> pinless wow I, I forgot the word <laughs> and then our vest doesn't hinder too much of the articulation as you can see here we have a nice ab crunch it won't go as deep simply because you know there's a vest there so it's meant to just hinder that articulation but i like how they circumvent it by cutting the the joints in that way as you can see we can rotate around right we have a little bit of drop down we can lift up and get those end of degrees we will lose boot swivel because of our pants leg but again being pinless allows it to still be double jointed and look good and then we still have super generous ankle pivot. But he has a, uh, what are these called? What are these called? These are called the pants leg that cover the boot. I forgot what those are called. And someone told me what it was. And I don't know why for the life of me, I can't remember it right now. But yeah, as you can see with this guy, he can actually butterfly joint over to his knife, which I like. I like the idea of that, right? He can actually reach for the knife with the hand and it doesn't look awkward, right? This is actually the wrong hand for it, but... The point is he can reach in front of himself and grab it and he can still also reach for his sidearm. These are really nice things to have to do. The loss of the boot cut is a little bit of a bummer, but because the line is modular, I'm pretty sure you can like work out new things, but this is a good look. I also want to talk about the fact that our magazines are removable as well as our combat knife. So that's a real nice touch on that. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our accessories. Maybe I can do this all in one shot without breaking, with the exception of these. I'm going to talk about those separately. Really crazy, though. I don't know where this alternate sculpt comes from, but I just love the idea of, like, a maniac screaming at you with a cool, like, handlebar mustache. Something about this just screams really cool. The little added goatee is a plus as well, right? So I like the idea of that. It, it just it breathes something new and refreshing, right? We will also have our main weapon. Uh, I do not know what type of gun this is, but this looks very heavy and very cool. <laughs> and it seems to have a grenade launcher attachment to it. Not sure if it can come off. No, it can't. But the magazine is removable because we also have those extra magazines there. I believe this is the butt stock. We have a scope here. Ooh, look, I'm learning stuff, y'all. I'm learning, right? You will get your action force base as well. You will get a sidearm because you saw the holster for that there. Magazine not removable. 
but we actually can park that right there so I'm actually gonna park that in there so that way I don't lose track of it I would not like to do that at all <clears throat> right and then you get just your, your standard set of Valiver's hands right so you'll have your cupping hands these are for when you're holding your larger sidearm right or whatever it is or even when you're holding your side or said larger sidearm your main weapon sorry and then you have your secondary, which you can also, and Gross Fidelity actually taught me this. So when you are holding the pistol, you can actually use the cupping hand to hold it in front to secure. That was a cool technique that they taught me, and I appreciate that, right? So I learned something new in anatomy for weaponry, which is pretty cool. Then we have our closed fist, which you see here. You already see the trigger hands here for Dusted. And then we have what I call the knife slash item holding hands. So you do get all the important sets of hands, and I think that's really cool that Valiverse includes that all out the gate. Then you'll get a radio headset to pop on a head scope. I'm I'm hoping he's like your your lifeline uh, character. Either he's going to be like lifeline, or he's going to be like uh, wow, I forgot his name that came with the motorcycle. Wow, I'm having a whole brain fart right now, so I apologize. But you know who I met from GI Joe, crap. Um, and then we have our standard helmet. But the helmet still comes with the night scopes. You can attach it. It could be thermal or night scope, whatever it is you want to do. And you can either attach that going up or down. I'm going to attach it up right now so we can just see that. We can actually remove these as well, too, because you can get the comms version, right? So with the comms, I'm going to gently tab those out. And I do believe you can tab this in right here. I want to make sure I get this right. Yep. So, yeah. I'm pretty oh I may have done it wrong sorry is it this way yeah so it might be this way but just in case we have tabbing options there so that's actually really cool as well that covers all of our options in terms of him right so now what we are going to do is oh I'm messing up my lights so I'm testing out my ring lights for reviewing in the dark because I was getting all sorts of weird lighting at night it just would not match up and it was killing me but i'm trying this ring light at night and uh it's working out for me i like this so we're going to talk about set a very quickly i know you can see the ring light all up in your rings and we're going to open this up right we're going to open it up right here on camera and talk about it well i need to pull it around so i can get the tab open as you can hear Ooh. Ooh, la la la. Okay. So it seems like I would have to technically paint some of these myself, which is cool because I don't mind it. I can't paint to save my life, but I could try to give them a wash, right? These are some really nice weapons. So let's take them all out one by one, right? Here we have a, this would be a submachine gun, right? This is a submachine gun. We have a very long stock here, right? We have the magazine, which isn't removable. But yeah, this is really cool. So we have our machine gun. That's a first. That's what we took out first, right? This would be a rifle. We have a handle here. We have the magazine here. This looks really good. I've seen this one in Call of Duty, right? And uh, it's not a... I forgot. It's not a Famas. I've also seen that in Metal Gear, too. But the magazine is all the way back here. There is a cool long, uh, like this is the, the shaft right here. Do we have like a handle slash scope? Okay, I'm learning things. I'm learning, like I said, I'm learning things, y'all. I could be wrong still, so don't worry about it. But y'all gonna roast me anyway in this comment section. And then we have a shotgun. This I know is a shotgun. There's our pump, or sorry, it was the gauge. I guess that's a flashlight underneath, right? Here we have a very long rifle. And I'm, I'm assuming this is gonna be for somebody like Roblox. Because this looks sort of like some sort of anti-tank or a larger rifle. Same for this one. Like, these look gigantic, right? Let's actually take out these next two, right? This looks crazy. Because this looks like it has, like, a, a pump action and a giant barrel. Like, I don't even know what to call this. Like, what would you guys call this? Is this like a super rifle? That's crazy. And then this one looks like something Roblox would carry. It looks like the magazine is very large. The handle is large. The stock is large. This is for people who like like this is definitely roadblock or gung-ho style weapons right then we have another submachine gun is it yeah submachine gun right this will be an uzi but with no stock right straight up uzi 
and this is another submachine gun this i believe i've seen a million times this one is called i had another brain fart wow i know this one because i actually like this one i ordered a few of these but yeah this stock's always been cool the long handle the grip the magazine i like these these are what you cool like you see these in like cool action movies so yeah don't be judging me man because i don't know stuff i feel like <laughs> i feel like a, a a crazy person doing this but it's cool though to review it though i like talking about this kind of stuff because we're actually gonna get into the size comparison after all this so here's set b right so let's take a second to talk about set b we're gonna jump into it now what we're gonna do is continue on with set b as you guys can see here so let's open this bad boy up Ooh, la la. All right In set B, which I have upside down, so you have to excuse me as I knock over a bunch of other toys. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Let's fix the focus. There we go. Okay, so we got, wow, we have way more big guns. <laughs> Again, I am not used to this. So let's clear out set A off to the side. And as I've noted, it looks like you're going to have to paint these yourself, which is cool. But yeah. So this looks like a rifle long magazine long butt stock so i'm assuming this is like something like an ak again i don't know my guns but i'm trying right we have this i believe this is a i don't know what kind of shotgun this is but this looks crazy cool it has a guard against holding it this is gonna be crazy we have another submachine gun this one is even smaller than the one before this is really cool wow this feels like like all right so this one looks really cool because like this reminds me of like space age weaponry but this is probably something based off something real right so this reminds me of like a cool laser sighted guided weapon looks like it has a little happy smiley face here on the side not sure if the, you guys can pick up on that right so let's see if i can zoom in like a jet set radio face <laughs> but this is the kind of weapon that feels like it has like a laser guided something he has a nice scope here. This looks really crazy cool. Just something that's completely different. It it definitely vibes amongst the like the GI Joe side of things, right? Here we have what I feel like could be possibly a super mini shotgun. Nah, this has to be like some rapid fire cool stuff, with like a barrel like grenade launcher, right? But this looks like a cool gun too. Next up, this one has such a long barrel though. See, I found the word now, barrel. So this one has a long barrel, long buttstock, long magazine. So this one probably feel I feel like something like this overheats very quickly. This is just me giving honest opinion on, on weaponry. I have no idea what I'm talking about, right? This one has a bayonet at the end. Wow. So this one has a bayonet at the end. This looks like a classic rifle. This looks like something that was used by the British, like a British weapon. That's like retired service weapon, right? This looks really cool too, though. This is crazy, like it's triangular design with the the bayonet knife on the end. Wow. Then last but not least, we have this bad boy, which looks like the same weapon without the bayonet, right? Actually, it just might be. No, different, well, okay. So there's actually a different stock on it as well. So there's a different butt stock on it. So that's pretty cool. Like you get variation with this kind of stuff. So this has been pretty cool. Like. I like this. I like I like doing stuff like this. I should do this more often. This is pretty fun to like be excited about things that I don't know about so I can try to learn about them. But I feel like there's so many guns. I feel like that's a lot for me to like play catch up on, right? Now, real quick, what we are going to do is I'm going to bring back Duster, right? I'm actually going to bring out one other figure as well. And the reason why I bring them out is because I want to see how the weapons look in a couple of their hands, right? Let's fix my focus. Focus, baby. There we go. Right? So then we have... We're just going to test out a few weapons in their hands. I like this. It looks like a good size. It holds really well. It didn't have any issues. Like, I didn't have to worry about breakage. Right? So let's try a larger... Let's try a shotgun in your hand. Which, whose hand I've probably worn out at this point, right? And perfect, he has what I call the cupping hand. So we can actually test this out. 
But as you can see, look at these guys. They look really good with their weaponry. Right? So once I learn how to paint, should I ever learn how? I feel like this is excellent weaponry to have choices. Even if I didn't want to paint it, I feel like this is something I could still probably get away with by looking really cool. Right? So this is this is actually one of those cool things where the, the options are pretty much limitless. Especially because if you like coloring crazy colors on your stuff, this is a very nice option for you. Right? Now, without further ado, I'm going to test it on a jar. A jar. A jar. <laughs> I lost track for words just now. I'm gonna test it out on one of the Joes. So here we are with my main man, Stalker. I say it with an A because of my accent. I'm from Brooklyn, my accent is from Brooklyn. If you don't get where that joke is from, you should probably go watch 40 year old version. <laughs> so yeah, here we are with a submachine gun in Stalker's hand. Now, I may have to wiggle wiggle for show. Right, so it looks like Stalker's hand needs to widen up just a bit for the submachine gun. So it may not be a perfect fit, but let's try another weapon just in case I'm tripping, right? No, it looks like it does fit. Yeah, it does. I just needed to widen out the hand just a little bit and get that in there. So yeah, you can see it does fit. So, and it does look good on him. That is a good look. Now, without further ado though, what I am going to do is, I'm going to take the time to do a quick size comparison as we have Duster here. I didn't do that at the end because I wanted to make sure you guys stuck around and enjoyed my company, right? So, here's what he looks like next to Stalker, right? Let's put him up. So here's Stalker with a G.I. Joe classified up against the Valiverse in terms of size. So there we are. And I feel like they are quite compatible with each other. They look really good and they complement each other very well. Two completely different lines that look really good together is always a plus for me. Right? Next up, we have a Mezco Green Lantern. Right? Former Marine and, and, and now Action Force. Right? Next up, we will do a... Ooh, what, what do we have? I know I have something. Oh, here we are with SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. Right? Come on, Kuga. Let's get those legs. I gotta get a new table <laughs> because my table is actually sinking in. So it's a little unbalanced and it's terrifying like all the time that I feel like anything can fall. Here we are with Evil Sensei Itami. Right? Next up, I know I have a Marvel Legends somewhere and I would like to find that, but I don't know where everything is and I feel like a butthead for not knowing at this time. So here we are with Marvel Legends, Ben Riley, who I had to take out of a bag just now because I could not remember for the life of me where I put my things. So here's Marvel Legends, Ben Riley, looking pretty good. So as you can see, the Valiverse stuff kind of works really well with other lines, import lines, non-import lines. It's really good, actually. So have a good time. And also, shout out to Hard to Find Toys, which helped me get Duster. Shout out to Mark to, uh, sorry mark two designs which i love that name so shout out to mark two designs for sending the set as well as hard to find toys in the set put the link in the description to both their pages so you guys can check them out you can order the things directly from them and support them that'll be really nice so thank you so much for doing that because helping them means helping me and helping me means helping them and everybody wins that way that's the that's the honest truth of the situation you watch my stuff you go buy from them you keep them in business they keep getting stuff for you Therefore, you watch more of my stuff. That way I get the views. It's a full like circle of life, right? So, for real, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting in advance. Thank you for everyone who's here checking this video out. Because I know it's kind of an extra long one. And enjoy the photos at the end, guys. So, as always, please, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.